Hi everyone, this is Miss Charlie B. for you all, your science teacher for primary five. Okay, let us review about closed circuit and open circuit. All right. I'm going to show you an example of open and closed circuit. We have here three components. Number one, dry cell. Number two, switch. And number three, light bulb. If you're going to turn on the switch, what happened? The bulb will light up. And that is an example of closed circuit. Okay. Now, we are going to learn about two kinds of circuits or two types of circuits. Number one, series circuit and parallel circuit. We are going to learn how are, how are they different. Okay. Now, this is series circuit. As you can see here, series circuit has only one pathway. Can you read this one? Series circuit has, okay, series circuit has only one pathway through which electron can flow. That is series circuit. Can you memorize? Series circuit has only one pathway through which electron can flow. It has only one way where electron can flow. Those moving in the, in the circuit or on the wire, we call that electrons. Okay? Electricity is the moving electron. So when the switch, this is the switch. When the switch is on, what happened to the bulb? The bulb light up because you learned about closed circuit. When the switch is open, the bulb has no light. So that is open circuit because there is a gap. So this is a series circuit. All right, next. I have example of series circuit. So this is another example. Why this is series circuit? Because series circuit has only one pathway through which electron can flow. As you see here, there is only one way through which electron can flow. Single loop, all right? That is series circuit. Another example of series circuit. Okay, this is another example because only one way. The components are connected side by side or one after another. That is series circuit. Why series circuit? Because series circuit has only one pathway through which electron can flow. Okay, now, this is a series circuit also. If one appliance is removed, the circuit, the circuit is opened by a gap. The other appliance goes off because current can flow. This is like, for example, this bulb, remove it. You remove it. So what happened here? No light. What happened here? No light. So when there is a gap in series circuit, if you remove the bulb, there will be no light to the rest of the component. Electricity will not flow completely to the circuit when you remove one bulb in the series circuit. Now, let's proceed to parallel circuits. 
In a parallel circuit, there is more than one path for the electric current or electricity to flow. So as you see here, there are two bulbs here, one bulb and two bulbs. So how many ways that electron can flow? There are two ways, okay? One way to the first bulb and back, and then another way to the second bulb and then go back to the dry cell. That is parallel circuit because there are two pathways here that electron can flow, electric current or electricity to flow. Okay, next. Again, what is parallel circuit? Parallel circuit has more than one pathway through which electron can flow. As you can see here, electron is flowing here the red arrow is one way okay the blue arrow is another way of electron that flows all right so this is parallel circuit it has more than one pathway through which electron can flow all right now Another example of parallel circuit, how many ways? You can see here that electron can flow. There are three pathways in this circuit. One way to the first bulb and back, another way to the second bulb and then back, and then another way to the third bulb and then back. This is parallel circuit. There is more than Parallel circuit has more than one pathway through which electron can flow. All right. So you see here another example of parallel circuit because there are three bulbs. So there are three pathways through which electron can flow. All right. So in a parallel circuit, can you read with me? In a parallel circuit, there are two or more paths for electrons to flow. Why? Because of this, if an item, item it means component, okay, one component is removed from the circuit, what happened? The electrons can continue to flow along other closed paths. All right. For example, you remove this bulb from the circuit. Remove it. So when you remove, what happened to other two bulbs? Still light up. Still light up. It doesn't affect the flow of electrons or electricity. Even you remove this bulb, other bulbs still light up. Okay. There is a gap here, but other, other two bulbs still light up because there are three pathways. This pathway is, there is a gap here. So it stopped stop flowing here. But there is way here of electron, okay? And then there is one, another way of electron here. So that's why this bulb still light up and another bulb still light up. That is the good thing about parallel circuit. If you remove one bulb, the other bulb still light up. Okay. Now, I want you to watch uh, a video of parallel for more understanding. Circuit. Different parts of the circuit are on separate branches. Notice how there are a lot more wires in a parallel circuit than in a series circuit. The separate branches allow the current to take several paths in the circuit. In this parallel circuit, if one bulb goes out, the other bulbs stay lit. The circuits in most buildings, including your home, are wired in parallel. Okay, so let's practice. You are going to tell whether it's each picture shows a zero circuit or parallel circuit. Observe the circuit and answer if this series or parallel circuit. Number one, what do you think? Is this series or parallel circuit? Think, if there is only one pathway through which electron can flow, series circuit. But if there are 
more than one pathway through which electron can flow, that is parallel circuit, okay? So observe the circuit carefully and tell whether it is series or parallel. The answer for number one is series circuit, okay? Why? Because it has only one pathway through which electron can flow. How about number two? What is the answer? Number two, the answer is parallel circuit because it has more than one pathway through which electron can flow okay let's go to number three observe the circuit as you see here it has more than one pathway through which electron can flow what is the answer if this is uh, more than one pathway the answer is parallel circuit how about number four? It has only one pathway through which electron can flow. The answer is series circuit. Okay, look at number five. Number five has more than one pathway. It has three pathways through which electron can flow. What is your answer? The answer is parallel circuit. So remember the spelling, okay? Maybe when we come to school, we have the test about parallel circuit, vocabulary, and series circuit. Parallel, P-A-R-A-L-L-E-L-C-I-R-C-U-I-T. Parallel and series, S-E-R-I-E-S-C-I-R-C-U-I-T. Series circuit. Okay, number six. This circuit has only one pathway through which electron can flow. What circuit is this? It has only one pathway. Look at, the, uh, look at the circuit. It has only one pathway. The answer is, okay, series circuit. All right, that is series circuit. All right, now let us uh, answer the following question. Question number one, why do all, okay, all? Why do all the lights go off when one light fails? Fails, it means broken, not working. So you see here, there is a gap. So it has, it has no light. This is series circuit, okay, series circuit. If this bulb, the light of this bulb go off, okay. So why these two bulbs, also go off not light up if this bulb not light up why the other bulbs also not light up the answer is because no current can flow why no current can flow because of the gap okay because of the gap there is no other path for the current to flow there is only one way because this is series circuit. So if there is broken component, all right, electron stop and not flow completely. Okay, this is in series circuit. Next question, what happens to the lights in a series circuit if one light goes off? Okay. So, so this light goes off, this bulb is broken. What happened to the other two light bulbs? What will happen if one is broken? If one bulb not light up, what happened to the other bulbs? All, okay, the answer is all the lights go off also. If one bulb light goes off, all the lights go off, okay? That is in series circuit. Okay, next question. What will happen if one of the lamp is being removed? You remove this one, take it away. So what happened to what happened to the other light bulb in series circuit? The answer is the rest of the lamps will not light up also. Okay, so in series circuit, if one bulb is broken, the other bulb is the other, the other bulbs are also broken. If one bulb doesn't light up, all the bulbs will not light up. That is series circuit, okay? Remember about that. All right, next question. Which type of circuit has only one path 
for electricity to flow. We learn about parallel and series circuit. Which type of circuit has only one pathway for electron to flow? What is your answer? The answer is series circuit. If it is, has more than one pathway, parallel. Has only one pathway, series circuit. So the answer here is series circuit. Okay, for your work, you have to cut and paste. If you cannot, if you can draw, you can draw. But if you cannot draw, you can uh, search the picture of series circuit, cut the picture and paste in your notebook. All right? And then explain what is series circuit. Write down your explanation in your notebook with your drawing or your picture. And then you also draw the picture of parallel circuit and then explain what is parallel circuit. You can write down series circuit is the circuit that has only one pathway through which electron can flow. And then you draw the picture or you can cut and paste the picture. And then about parallel circuit, you can write parallel circuit is the circuit that has two or more pathways through which electron can flow. And then draw your picture on the bottom, okay? So that is your work in your notebook. And then I'm going to give you a very simple worksheet and I will explain to you how to answer, okay? I will show you the example, this example, okay? How to answer, I will explain this example, okay? So listen up. This is the example for your worksheet, how to answer it. First, you are going to write if it, if it is parallel or series. So what do you think? This circuit, is this parallel or series circuit? You observe how many pathways electron can flow here. How many pathways? If there are more than one, then that is parallel. If it is, if it is uh, only one pathway, that is series. So what do you think? Is this parallel or series circuit? This is parallel circuit. Very good. So parallel circuit, we are going to find out if the bulb lights up. Okay. So... Correct. The answer is parallel circuit. So, what do you think? Is this bulb, is this bulb light up? Yes or no? Is this bulb light up? Yes or no? Is this bulb light up? Yes or no? Okay. You have to find out. If the bulb light up, then you have to write on and then color yellow. But, if the bulb doesn't light up, so you will write off, okay, off. I will write here off. I will write here off. This bulb off, okay. This bulb is off. Also, this bulb is off. Alright, now, why do you think my answer is off? Why I answer here, this bulb is off, this one is off, another bulb is off, another bulb is off. Why I answer like that? So I will not color it yellow because there are no lights on these bulbs. So why my answer is off? Because this is open circuit. Why do you think this circuit is open? Okay, because of the switch. The switch is off, all right? It has a gap. Electricity or electron or electric current cannot flow on this circuit because the switch is off. So all the bulb, all the bulbs are off. This is parallel circuit, okay? So um, you can find the worksheets on this video, all right? And then you can answer it and keep it with yourself. And you are going to submit when we meet in the class. I will collect all your worksheets in the class, okay? So thank you very much for listening.
Okay? And I hope you learn and see you next time again. Bye-bye!